Namaste everyone. In this video episode, we are going to help you create observable in three different ways. I know there are multiple ways that you can create observable, but you need to get started somewhere, right? So in this video, I'm going to help you create observable in two ways that is little bit easier and the third and advanced way. So watch the video till the end and don't forget to watch our animated introduction of observer and observable which is going to be really helpful for you to watch the course further. And if you haven't watched that, I highly recommend you go ahead and watch this video first and then come back here. So without wasting your time, let's go to my screen. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is create the observable with just. So let's go ahead and try to create. Uh, so before that, just do one thing, go to your build.gradle and add that implementation. And if you don't know what is all this thing, I have already discussed about the gradle and all these dependencies. So go ahead and watch my previous videos. Okay. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create observable of integer. I'm going to use observable dot just, which is a very handy method to create any observable. So let's go ahead and uh, create an observable of integers. There we go. So our observable is ready in here. So let's go ahead and run this. As you can see that there is no output in here. Just creating observable doesn't start emission. So to start the emission, we need to observe on the observable. I'm going to talk about observer in the next video. But uh, here, just go ahead and subscribe to this observable so we can print something on the screen. Type in observable dot subscribe, which will give you all the item one by one. So let's go ahead and type in item and print out each and every item in our console. Let's go ahead and see whether this program is correct or not. So as you can see that all the integers has been printed on the console in here. Now that you know that how to create observable using observable.just, uh, there is a very handy method like observable.fromiterable. We deal with a lot of lists in our daily lives. So converting those lists to some observable is a really great way. So observable.fromiterable do just that. Type in observable. So I'm going to creating an observable of integer again. And I'm going to use observable dot from iterable, which basically takes any iterable. So let's go ahead and create one list first. I'm going to create one list of integers in here. Now let's go ahead and subscribe on this observable. All right, that you, you can see that one, two, three, four, five has been printed to your console. So it works just like the previous method, but in this case, we have converted a list to an observable. So that was uh, creating an observable from a list. So we're going to create an observable using a little bit advanced method right now, which involves the emitter. Uh, we're going to discuss about the emitter and how this interface works uh, in a future videos. Type in observable. Here I'm going to create one integer observable again. But in this case, I'm going to use the observable.create method to create the observable. So create method basically takes an observable on subscribe interface, which in turn gives you an emitter. So let's go ahead and uh, take the emitter. And then subscribe on it. There we go. So let's go ahead and uh, run this first and see what we can see on the screen. So as you can see that it prints nothing in this in the console. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to use the emitters on next method to publish something to my subscribers. 
So I'm gonna put in uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's try to run the method again. So as you can see that it prints one, two, three, four, five on your console. Let's do a little bit advanced thing using the emitter dot on complete. I know if you have watched the previous video, you can relate to this a little bit. So let's go ahead and use that. So let's type in emitter dot on complete. So on complete means that emission is now complete. So after you get the on complete, your subscribers know that you, there is no more emissions coming in. So when we run this, we get the same output that we used to get. So why is this? As for now, our subscribers are expecting items. But if they expect on complete as well, they can also print it out on the console. So let's go ahead and do that. Go here. And as you can see that it also gives the on error and on complete. So let's go ahead and use the on error first. I'm going to print out the error. If, if something goes wrong, it is going to print out the error on the console as well. So go ahead and get localized message. And if the process is complete, which is the on, which is an action, it's going to print out in the console that completed okay that's it let's go ahead and run this all right now that you can see that completed is there on the console since rx java 2 you can't really push any null object to the on next method so let's go ahead and push one null to see that whether our subscribers can handle this error or not so let's go ahead and make a customized message in here Suppose there was an error and try to push one null object. Let's go ahead and run this. There we go. As you can see that it says there was an error on next call with null. So there we go. We have handled all the emissions like on next, on error, on complete. So we are going to see all of this thing further in the episode as well. So just stay in touch and if you have liked this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because we upload videos every Sunday. It's me too here signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.